it's Sally Cathcart back here again and I'm continuing this very brief overview of um, our teaching framework and at the moment we're looking at this idea of being a teacher. So last week I was asking you why do you teach? Have you investigated the beliefs and values that lie behind the reason why you are teaching? And today we're going to move on and maybe look at some of the other elements that are wrapped up with this whole idea of being a teacher. So in our teaching framework, which underpins really the curious piano teachers and the work that we do, as well as knowing your beliefs and values, here are some of the other crucial areas. Subject knowledge, subject knowledge, knowing what you understand and what you know and if you're new to teaching, then obviously it's going to be really quite small because you're still developing that subject knowledge. But if you've got more experience, then it will be a lot more comprehensive. I don't think it really matters what level you're at. What matters is that you dig down and you find out what you know. And crucially, you investigate the gaps that you don't know about. And it's those gaps that provide the really interesting, the curious zones, if you like. So subject knowledge and then understanding your students and how they learn is another um, area that is absolutely vital. What do you know, for example, about the different theories of learning? Because there are theories of learning out there and as teachers, we should know about them because that will inform the way that you teach. And it will also inform the way that you plan and then you teach. So planning and teaching. Um, is a, a never-ending quest as far as I'm concerned to become better at planning and to become better at teaching. And the final area though I want you to consider is the area of communication and having really clear channels of communication between you and your student and you and the parents or whoever else it is out there. It might be if you're working at a school it might be with the head of music, the director of music there. Now, as teachers, we have to be able to communicate clearly, don't we? As clearly as possible with our students. And yet I know for myself, I often am not as good at this as I would like to be. So a question to leave you with is, how good are you, do you think, at, at listening? Here's a little challenge. Why not um, have a designated listening day where your focus is on how much you are listening to your students or to the parents and by that I mean really listening to them with a fairly um, quiet mind yourself because I know for me when I'm often thinking I'm listening I'm actually forming my next um, sentence back to them in other words I'm wanting to uh, get in quickly with my thoughts instead I'm going to try sitting back I'm going to try really listening and then speaking and communicating clearly from a, a, a sense of real um, purpose. So that's being a teacher for you in a nutshell. And next week I'll be moving on to a really important one, I think, being a musician. Happy teaching, have a designated listening day and hope to see you next week. Bye for now.